hello people thanks for tuning in today to watch this video um today i'll be showing you how to make a swimming pool in revit um and i want it to uh look like this in the end when i'm done with everything i i'm gonna go ahead and delete delete this don't need that you can start over so i can uh let me also go on and then delete the view I don't need a view anymore all right so level one we start i will first draw my floor so floor uh rectangular shape let's have a bigger one for let's say about, about this size and then another rectangle um make it it's gonna be a big pool 32 by 55 56 and then again but this time i'm going to offset it by six inches click here actually let me finish this first sorry about that click on okay i have this created in uh, my 3d view you can see it right there so my selection shows red because i it's a, it's a, it's a feature you can do in uh, revit in one of my past videos, I've already showed you how to do that. Um, for those who don't know how to take a go, I have to go and watch my past videos to learn how to do this. All right, now to move on to the next thing, draw another floor, rectangle, offset it six inches. Put that here, drag to the bottom, and click on slope arrow. Click on this, draw it up to the top. Then you slope the arrow. I want um, this says height offset at tail, so the tail is the bottom of the pool. I want the bottom of it to be negative ten feet deep. Oh, sorry, I got it's, it's because I moved my mouse. Negative ten. Okay, and then I want the top of the pool to be negative four. So the pool starts from four feet deep to a ten foot, uh, ten feet deep. Uh, 10 foot deep and then I move my mouse here and then that is implemented click on the green check box and, and when you come to the 3d view you will be able to see that they have to pull slope in at exact at the exact angle that I wanted to now the next thing to do is to draw the walls for the pool and back to the first level click on walls I'm going to change it to finish face interior okay click on here to there, to there, to there, and to there. Let me zoom in to show you that the interior wall side is only what you see here. So these are the outside and then this is the inside of it. Now to show you in 3D, this is how it looks. It doesn't look very well. So the next thing we're going to do is to put a constraint on these walls. Select all these four walls of the pool and the base. I want the base to be level zero, and um, the top could be, say, level one. Okay, and right in there. Now, to, the, to fix the wall itself, they are not drawn to scale. I'll first off start from this wall. Perfect. Just as I want it. Um, then I can easily remove it out of the way so I have a better view of what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. That. That. Right there. Almost there. Sure that it's it. yeah okay now I'm gonna do the same thing for this wall move that there we go and for the side these walls I'll have to edit the profile of them select the wall click on edit profile click on align top click and then it's align remove constraints don't worry about that green check mark and then you flip it you flip the model over 
and do the same thing for this side right and align select click remove constraints check and you will see that you have your pull right there this is exactly what we wanted now the next thing we want to do is to put in our water um, under the architecture tab um, you click on components modeling plates scroll down to generic models and then I can name it let's say pool water okay now I you I forgot to let you guys know I'm using Autodesk Revit 2019 student version for this so and then the template is architectural templates just so you know um, now the next thing I want to do is to set my plane Okay, pick a plane I'm gonna pick my plane level zero that's what I'd like to do okay and I'll select that click on extrusion now I can go on and start creating my extrusion pick lines uh, select this face uh, I want this face selected no perfect and let's see I'm going to do that something does not look right do it one more time uh, top bottom let me get this right bottom perfect and then finally this face perfect now we can go on and trim the sides and click ah it's not working click there we go perfect exactly what we want i don't know why it wasn't working a second ago but sometimes revit goes crazy and then click the green checkbox, check mark, intersect. Okay, it means it says I have double lines here. You can delete that. I don't see what that is. Uh, so that was not the case. Let's click that again. Lines cannot intersect each other. Okay, I don't know what that means. Let's see. I've not got that before. Okay. Okay. Still happening. At this point, I guess. Delete that. Delete that. And still happening. Let's see. I try to figure out what is happening here. Zoom in on here. Looks good. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Okay. I'm going to start uh, now. I want to get this done right. I don't know why Revit is doing this to me. Okay, let's find a problem. Oh, I see right there. So, okay, there we go. <laughs> we got that done. Sometimes we we face com some complications when using Revit. Okay, almost there. Move this to the face. And perfect. And then I have to select a material for it. But before you do this, you should have a material created already. I have a material created. Uh, pull. Oh, there it is. So I have my material created already. I'm going to insert that material. And then click on the green checkbox. And then we're done. Level 1. Um, click on the 3D uh, 
icon select camera you can drop your camera let's say in this view and uh, click on that and when i go to realistic view you can see that the pool is created right there so i just chose a, a pool image from google i searched google i searched swimming pool water image and then i just found one um, this is not the very best one but you can find a really good one out there and then use it um, thanks for watching and come back next week for more thank you